So, um, I have a slight confession to make. I had big plans for today's video. It was going to be another episode of the good, the bad and the ugly. And, um, and then the World of Warships beta test weekend servers went live and I thought, wow, there's going to be more than 10 people online at once. <laughs> I must, I must have some games. Well, four hours later, I remembered I still hadn't done today's video. So, um, this is it. <laughs> So, yeah, sorry about that, um, but, you know, I am what I am, and what I am is very, very easily distracted by shiny new games. However, I, I hope you'll agree that uh, this is going to be adequate compensation. This is Caleb Soldier, and he is driving the Panzer II Lux. And yes, I know, I did put a Lux video up just a couple of days ago. And a lot of you seem to take it as a challenge to send in even better Lux replays. This is one of them. Now, I'm not saying this is the best Lux replay that got sent in to me over the course of the last couple of days. As usual, I do expect there to be somebody in the comments saying that he sent a replay in in his Lux where he killed 42 tier 10 heavy tanks in one match. Why oh why jingles, didn't you show my replay? Well, I'm not saying this one's the best one that was sent in, but it's definitely the best one that I looked at. And, uh, I think you're going to agree. So, Caleb is in a tier 4 match in this evil little tank with this ridiculous 30mm auto cannon. And there's his first kill. <laughs> Which wasn't hard, was it? You'll notice he doesn't spam the fire button with this auto cannon. This is why most of his shots are hitting the target. Unless he's at point blank range, he never just holds the fire button down. He sort of taps it with a fraction of a second delay between each tap. Gives the gun a chance to aim again between bursts. So most of his shots hit. Of course, if you get this close to a Panzer III... <laughs> oh man, I love this tank so much. I've always loved the looks. And when it got bumped to Tier 4, it just got even better. I mean, it was always fun to drive. It was fun, but not that effective. Now it's just evil. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> He's just making it look easy. Oh, ooh, wow. Sorry, mate. Rather you than me. <laughs> Is he going to get this one as well? Look at, look at this kill stealing. Like a boss. Go on, do it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oh well. Uh, how many is that now? Four? Yes, that's four. Wow. He's the only person on his team to kill anything so far. Although that's not strictly his team's fault. I mean, he totally ninja those last two kills. Oh my god, he's got another one. Five kills. <laughs> he's on fire. Somebody stop him. Uh, well, they've completely dominated this side of the map. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Tank destroyers. Oh, that was close. Two of them. Now they know he's here, so he doesn't hang around aiming the shots like he did before. And yep, they did fire back at him, and it looks like artillery's taken an interest in his well-being as well, so we're going to relocate. More of the team are coming up, however, take a quick look at the map, look at the friendly base. It's not looking too good over there. It's a great shot at this T-40. He's actually having to fire in this gap below the railway car and the top of the railway embankment. It's a miracle they hit him at all. But he's been spotted again, and now they're being capped. And he's now just noticed that uh, his attention is required back at the other end of the map. And from here on in is where it starts getting good. I, I know you think it's been pretty good so far. Uh, trust me, it hasn't. Well, it has, but not in comparison to the way the rest of this match plays out. Now, the enemy team aren't capping anymore. They have overrun the base, but they're probably all yelling at each other in chat, no cap, kill all. And that's going to prove to be their undoing. So there's a, an M8A1 and a Panzer III have overrun the base. And he stops in this bush, and bingo, there they are. So who's he going to shoot at first? Thinks about shooting at the Panzer III, goes back to the M8. Panzer III is in cover. And has now disappeared. Oh, no, well, well, he's just popped up again. But the M8 is the obvious target. So, again, takes his time. And bingo, he's nailed the M8. Panzer III takes a shot at him, but he backed off. Got the building between him and the Panzer III. 
makes maximum use of the buildings and the terrain features to keep himself safe from return fire from that Panzer III while he's reloading this auto cannon. He's been spotted again. Panzer III now starts making his move. Panzer III is not the greatest machine in World of Tanks when it comes to firing on the move. Not many machines are down here at Tier 4. But it is very quick and it is very manoeuvrable. And it has a fair bit of weight behind it. Certainly a lot more weight than a Panzer II looks. And this was painful. And it was absolutely the right thing for the Panzer III to do. And he very, very nearly won the game right there. So, Caleb's now on 42 health. The B1 on the team's just died. There's now two of them versus six enemy tanks. His nearest teammate is in a Matilda, not the fastest machine in World of Tanks, and he's about 200 metres away. Anyway, Caleb is going to have to reset the cap. Now remember, he doesn't have to kill whatever's in the cap circle, although that would be nice. He just has to damage it. And there he is, and he does not hang around on 42 health. You do not give them any opportunities to return fire. And while he was doing that, the Matildas just died as well. So he is now alone against six enemy tanks. So, straw pole. Who thinks that the T-28 is going to be in exactly the same position, with his gun still pointing at the corner where Caleb was last seen? Never suspecting that, you know, tanks are capable of actually moving. Yeah, there's a certain grim inevitability about it all, really, isn't there? <laughs> but he did get spotted, so he has to keep moving. 42 health remaining. Two artillery on... Yeah, there they go. Yeah, I don't think so, Artie. Not today. So... He has to either finish this match on 13 kills, or cap, in order to win. Well, that should be interesting. <laughs> now, oh, oh, there's the, okay, there's the Matilda. Now, that's good news. The Matilda's, he's coming over the peninsula, and oh, they're being capped. Somebody's in the cap circle. But, but knowing where the Matilda is is good, because the Matilda's a slow machine, and if he's making his way over the peninsula and coming over the causeway, it's going to take him time to do that. And time is exactly what Caleb needs, because he needs to... As long as these guys keep insisting on turning up in the cap circle one at a time, he can fight them one at a time. So he needs to track this guy down and kill him, whoever he is. And then get himself hidden, get that gun reloaded, and wait for the next one to turn up in the cap circle. So whoever this guy is, just... Where did you go? <laughs> we want to kill you! Well, rather than circling all the way around again... He's decided to, uh, and plus that might have exposed him to fire from the Matilda when it turns up as well, but he's he's turned around and he's trying to intercept whoever it was, but there's just no sign of them. And this is bad, because you have to count on the enemy team all closing in on the cap circle now, so the longer it takes him to find and kill whoever was here in the cap circle, the more the chance that the rest of the enemy team are going to turn up, and he only has 42 health. But there's no sign of whoever it was who was sitting there in the cap circle just a minute ago. It's an absolute mystery. And he's frantically panning around trying to... He's been spotted. Oh, it's it's the French artillery. Oh, this is not good. What to do, where to go. And there's the Valentine AT. And he's got one in front of him. He's got one behind him. This is not ideal. Not ideal at all. They know exactly where he is. Artillery are opening up pops out, there's there's the M37 as well, sprays a burst into the Valentine AT, doesn't kill him, and then disaster strikes, here's the T-40, and I have no idea why the T-40 did not take the shot, but he's still stuck reloading, and, and, oh, I can't watch, and hooray for enemy artillery, <laughs> the, t the T-40 got wasted by his own M37, and I would love, I would absolutely love to have known what is going on in enemy team chat right now. <laughs> because <laughs> I'll bet it would be amusing. Oh my god. And he's nailed the Valentine AT. The other art, he's fired and missed twice while all that was going on. And now, <laughs> now the shoe is on the other foot. But don't get too excited because where's the Matilda? All the time that was happening, the Matilda has got to have arrived by now. There's the artillery. No sign of the Matilda yet. Oh, he doesn't finish him off with his first burst. He's got to hang around reloading. The M37 is shooting at him. That Matilda's got to be close by now. Got to keep moving. M37 has a fast reload. Come on, finish him. 
Bingo, got him. Right. One against two. Where's the Matilda? Keep moving, however, of course, because he's still going to be on the radar. So they're going to see where he's going. Now, he doesn't have any visual contact with the M37, and still no sign of the Matilda, which is just bizarre. The Matilda's not that slow. Matilda is a slow machine, but he should have been there by now. Oh, there he is. Well, that answers that question. And spotted by the Matilda, time to get the hell out of there. And, uh, oops, so oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, yeah, instantly use that repair kit, you're still spotted, the M37 is still in play, and he's probably desperate for a chance to uh, redeem himself after team killing the T40. Now, Caleb's probably praying that that Matilda is going to try to chase him, and Matilda's never going to catch him. And there's the M37, and funnily enough, in exactly the same position from where he team killed the T40, and the M37 has not seen him. His sixth sense didn't go off. So that's going to make this very, very easy. There he is, paying no attention whatsoever. Right, now if you can just make it into the cap circle before the Matilda... Ah, oh, crap. The Matilda's capping. Ugh. If, he'd, if he'd been able to make it into the cap circle, he would have won, because there's absolutely... You saw how long it took the Matilda to work his way around the peninsula and over the causeway. There is absolutely no way a Matilda is going to make it all the way back over here in time to reset the cap. Unfortunately, that's just not going to happen, because now... Well, it's the right play from the Matilda. Absolutely the right play. The Matilda only has to hit him once, and if you're not going to be able to catch a tank like the Lux, then you have to force the Lux to come for you. So, this ain't good. This ain't good at all. He, now, you know what the armour on the Matilda's like. He's loaded the APCR, and there he is. He's reset the cap. And don't hang around, don't hang around. You've reset the cap. You've got plenty of time. He hits you once, you're a dead lux. The Matilda has a fairly wide selection of guns available. He may very well be a stock Matilda, judging by the length of time it took him to work his way all around there. But even the stock two-pounder gun on the Matilda is a very, very capable little anti-tank gun. He's got to reset the cap again. He's just got to keep chipping away at him. Where, where the hell did he go? Oh, well, he's still in the cap circle. We just can't see him. There he is. Oh, well, that was a smart move. That was a very, very, very smart move. Yeah, Caleb's really, really running out of options here. The Matilda is in the worst possible spot. Well, it's the best possible spot for the Matilda. It's the worst possible spot for Caleb Soldier. You can see he had to completely leave cover in order to get eyes on that Matilda, parked in that low ground over on the far side of the cap circle. The approach that gives best shots at the Matilda in that position is the spot which Caleb Soldier originally appeared at, uh, down to the south, around the other side of the cap circle. From this side, all you're really going to see is the top of his turret. And shit, he's looking this... Oh, he's done it! He's managed to hit... That was a bloody lucky shooting. Again, he didn't... He, he doesn't have the luxury of stopping to aim these shots. He's basically just got to snap fire and hope it hits, and he didn't have an awful lot to shoot at there. Literally just the top of that Matilda's turret, but cap reset again. But once again, the Matilda only has to get lucky once. Now, if you think Caleb has been doing a good job so far, and given himself every possible chance to be able to get that first shot off from an unexpected direction, well, you ain't seen nothing yet. Get a load of this. As far as that Matilda is aware, there's only three different locations from which Caleb can pop out. And so far, he's popped out of all three of them. Well, it turns out there are four, and uh, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do it like this before. Get a load of this. I mean, this takes balls of steel. Look at that. Perfect use of terrain and concealment. Hasn't seen him yet. There's another handy little bush in front of him, though. And which way do you think the Matilda's going to be looking? I guarantee... It isn't this way. And now you can take your time aiming. <laughs> He's only gone and done it. 13 kills, you sneaky German bastard. 
And just in case nobody noticed, when the Matilda died, there were only 26 seconds remaining on the clock. Well, unfortunately, he didn't finish with 13 kills. The, uh, the enemy M37 artillery saw to that by team killing the T-40 for him, so that's a shame. But <laughs> 12 kills. Um, holy shit, man. Look at the damage he did. I did that amount of damage in a tier 8, 9 or 10 tank and I haven't had a bad game. <laughs> this thing's tier 4. Holy shit. I, I have a great job, you know. People send me replays like this all the time. <laughs> Sometimes I even get to look at them. Wow, Caleb Soldier in the, the cutest tank in the game. The Panzer II looks absolutely phenomenal match. I really hope you guys had half as much fun watching that as I did editing and commenting on it. That was an absolute legend of a game. I hope you enjoyed it, folks, and I hope... It serves as suitable compensation for not having an episode of The Good, The Bad and The Ugly today, but I've just been playing far too much World of Warships and I completely forgot what the time was. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, and I'll catch you next time.